Hello folks and welcome to Snow Runner. And you will see I'm in our little Tuz 166. Or as I was calling it, a little Tonka toy. And I, in the last episode, we found this vehicle. And we were able to take it back to the garage. And I was looking at it and I thought, yeah, this is a little Tonka toy piece of junk. Why they even put this in the game? I am thoroughly impressed with this vehicle. It actually does very well. I uh, put some bigger tires on it. I had the suspension lift on it. And I did find an upgrade for the engine. So we are going to come over here and we're going to pull this bread truck out of here. And we're going to see how it does. Uh, let me go ahead and stop the engine. So let's take a look at our map. Uh, I did look around the map a little bit and I did do some testing on this truck once I got it upgraded. Just drove it around, see what it would do. And I actually... Let's see, where did I go? Ah, uh, right here, okay. Had to worry up myself. I actually decided to take it out of the garage and straight across the road here and just see what it could do. And it surprised the crap out of me. It did really well. Uh, it did uh, better than the pickup can do or even the International Scout. And I would put it uh, up against the Hummer any day. But uh, when I came across here, I was driving up here because I knew there would be an upgrade. There's no reason to come up in this area. So I thought somewhere in this area is an upgrade. And there was. It is, I thought it would be like behind this house somewhere. Because the house had a really light colored roof and the rest of them were dark. But I was wrong. It was actually right behind here. So I picked up that upgrade. Get out of the way for the cat here. And I decided to just drive down this way and see how well it could do. And I drove all the way out this way and came all the way down here and just didn't make it back for a run out of gas. So then I thought, well, let's look behind our area here, behind our garage, because you've got all this wooded area. And I wanted to see what this was. Because it didn't tell me it was bricks, it just had something there. I could see that, but not what it was. And I wanted to go out here and see if I could get past here. You can't because there's a train car and it's blocking the area. So I came down in here and I was coming across through the woods here and there's another upgrade down in here. So I went down there and got that and then continued on over here and then back this way. And went ahead and drove down all of this dark road to uh, get it lit up. And there was one more upgrade. I drove it around and I was coming back. And might have been in here. Yeah, in here. When I was coming back through here. I saw a flash on my right hand side and it showed an upgrade. So I drove down in here and it's pretty cool down in here. We'll have to take a look at it. And there are a bunch of uh, cars down in here and a tractor and you know all junk but then there's an upgrade sitting about right in here. So I found three hidden upgrades and that was just fooling around for about 45 minutes on here. So I've got the truck set up over here now. We're going to go ahead and do a mission because I actually need the money. Because with all these upgrades and stuff that, I've, uh, that I got, I don't have a lot of money left on me. So let's... Oh, that's right. I do have the uh, autonomous winch on it. Let's 
Let's see if it can pull it out. It is a little bit muddy here. So the traction is not very good. we need to drop this is close by so let's get wedged up against that rock there yeah, I thought I was going to it's like I just drive right over it That's okay, this is working. Might be a little too far. Nope. Uh-oh. So once I get it up here, I'll see about putting some fuel in it and um, seeing if I can do a little bit of repairs to it. Go here on some solid ground. I didn't think this was all-wheel drive. The uh, van, I mean. That's why I wanted to wait before I put fuel in it, because I'd just be burning fuel up for no real, no real good reason. Now, once it gets here on solid ground, then it should help me out. Alright, so let's see what we can do for it. Oh, d oh no, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Everything on it is dead. So I know I carry 
four tires. So I can go ahead and do that. I don't guess I carry any more. Yep, that's all I carry on here is four tires. So it won't do me any good to put fuel in it. Unless I want to bring another truck over here to repair it. And let's see where I need to go. This is something about bread. Saving country bread. Oh, I got to deliver that. I'll deliver it to the hangar. That's not very far at all. So I have to turn it around. This thing does not have a big fuel tank. It only holds 15 gallons. And, let's see how much I carry with me. I'll carry 11 gallons. Okay, that'll work. And with good tires, it should roll pretty fair. Yeah, one of the things I notice about this truck, it has a very short wheelbase, which means it is able to get into places a longer wheelbase can't get into. And I don't have to worry about uh, bottoming it out. So you see up in the upper right hand corner I have a cycle of cargo. That is the next thing I'm going to do once I get this back. Uh, we're going to use our new truck, the Tega I believe. I'm going to use that to do the delivery and it's a fairly easy one. I pick up at the rail station, I pick up two cements and take it to the sawmill. From the sawmill, I pick up two wood and take it somewhere else. And then from that location, pick up two other things and make a final delivery. So it's not too awful bad. I would hate to try to bring a trailer through here. I did take the Western Star out and went to some of the locations so that I could see exactly what I could pick up at those locations. And it was kind of painful. The Western Star ran good. Uh, it handled all of the mud and everything perfectly. The problem is just driving from, I'll show you, driving from the garage out to here cost me half of the points that I had on my running gears. Just driving down this road. 
I was taking damage every five seconds. And not talking about one or two damage points. And I would be driving and take 30 damage. And there was nothing in the road. No rocks, no sticks, no nothing. So I don't know if the game is designed that way so that you would not use American vehicles or what? But the Western Star did not have a good time. It might just be the map. Uh, the road's really rough and you're just going to have to accept you're going to take a lot of damage. Could have been something with the last update that made uh, damage more substantial. Which I'm okay with. If I'm hauling butt down a road and I hit a rock, yeah, give me damage. But if I'm doing 15 miles an hour and there's nothing on the road, give me 30 damage and blow a tire, that's kind of ridiculous. As I said, this has a small gas tank, only 15 gallons, and it does pretty decent on uh, the gallons per minute. As you look down there, I'm pulling a vehicle and I'm doing less than one gallon a minute. I think I still have two other engines I can go up in this vehicle. So we'll see how the next engine does once I can find the upgrade. So I believe this engine is good for this vehicle driving it. But it, to pull a load, pull something like this, I think it's just too much for the engine in the mud. But we're almost on solid ground. little further So I need to take it to the parking area, which I don't know where that is, so let's track it, or take it to the hangar, which is over there. I could use the money.
get a little bit of air here. Let's get you out of that zone. Stop the engine and change my trucks. So for this one, it was our first mission. And I have to take two cement from here to the sawmill. From the sawmill, I pick up two wooden planks and go to the factory. From the factory, I will pick up two concrete slabs and deliver those to the farm. So what is this? Oh, that's my fuel tanker. Need to eventually go out and get that and get that vehicle. But I wanted to get a couple of missions done. So like I said, I could uh, really use the money. I was down to uh, something like $3,200 is all I had left. So let's go ahead and load up. So at this place, you can get service spare parts, oil barrels, cement, and a cargo container, which seems to weigh a lot. And right now we are after cement, two of them. Oh, and they weigh a lot. All right, so let's give her a shot. I think what I am going to have to do is put some, either some maintenance trailers along the routes or vehicles with maintenance add-ons, which might be the better of the two ideas uh, because then I can just move them where I need them easier. Alright, so to the sawmill. And the sawmill is right there. So come up here, make a left. And go ahead and continue straight here. Go back. Oh, that's where that bridge is. So let's not do that. Let's go ahead and go down this road. Continue on through here. And that will take me into the sawmill. I don't know if that bridge would be any good with uh, loads on the back of trucks. If you could make it or you would just flip them over. And right now I don't want to take a chance of flipping it over. I didn't even touch you. So I was watching uh, some of the people that I watch, and they're playing SnowRunner, and they were behind me, meaning they have gone this far, but I haven't watched any of their vi videos from here. Uh, they were actually doing a couple of missions on Island Lake, but they were talking that there are two other regions in the works. And I need to go back and watch it. Uh, I was doing something else at the time and half paying attention to what they were saying. 
but I thought that they had mentioned Colorado. And maybe that was for a different game. But it would be pretty cool if they have other regions in the works for this game. I mean, I have plenty to do right now. I still have to finish all of these maps. And then I have my other playthrough that I'm getting ready to start. My uh, self-imposed hardcore mode. Which I do believe... I went back and I, I went back and I watched the I did one uh, hours worth of video on it and I still hadn't decided on the rules but I have decided on them now and even made a, a little graphic for it. So I think I'm going to go back and just redo that video and start it all over from the beginning now that I know the rules I want to follow. So this road is Tippy City. Go up into low gear. I'm wondering if the suspension upgrade will help this uh, take less damage because then I'll be able to get some bigger tires. should but like I said I've purposely not watched any of the any videos of this region because I want to experience it firsthand yeah I might should have gone around that might have been easier. Let's try to go around this one. it in high gear, see if I can keep the damage down. I didn't look to see if there were any maintenance trailers along the way. I run across the suspension lift for this vehicle, but it's probably on a different map.
Okay, so next is two wooden planks. And I am taking them to the factory. I think I can just go out here. Yeah, I don't know about that road, but... I don't know, something about this road seems unlevel. But we'll try it. Cross the bridge. And yeah, we'll make a right here. Make a left. Another left, and that will take me into the factory. So this, uh, the contracts on this map, yeah, see I thought it would be, it just looked like it was a tippy type of map, or tippy type of road. But a lot of the contracts with this seem to be uh, seismology. I think there are like five different missions where you have to have the truck that holds the seismology equipment. And a lot of the other missions require you to do those some of those missions first. there. Okay, this is the bridge we had to cross to get the little tuz. Little Tonka toy. So if you haven't seen my last video, the little Tonka toy was right up here between those rocks. to put it in low but I want the extra power of automatic in case I need to punch it if I start tipping Cuckoo bird.
and since I'm here. Let's smash some pumpkins. Trying to get the achievement of smashing 500 pumpkins. I think I was 31%. Two more. All right, I think that's enough. So I downloaded the OBS software on my computer, figuring I was going to give it a shot, and maybe it's where I am old and not a lot of, uh, not that technically inclined, but it seemed really hard to use. I even watch some YouTube videos on it and couldn't figure it out so I have to do some more research on it. So now we are going to the farm. Where is the farm? Right there. So, I believe the best route is to come back out, make a right, follow this road all the way around. And try to stick to some main roads. And that's a tippy road. But that is a muddy road. So we'll try this one. What's the worst can happen? And then go into the farm. Oh. That's a warehouse. Up there's the farm. So let's just continue to follow this road around. And it goes by a fuel station, so. It looks like an awful muddy road. But hey, we got to test the vehicle. And then we'll come in here.
Okay, I forgot which way I was turning. So I need to go to the right. Which is this way. I hope it was that way. Yeah. One of the upgrades I found was an, I think, an engine upgrade or something called a Dan. Not exactly sure which one that is. Still trying to think on, uh, there was one of the rules that I was thinking about for my hardcore playthrough, and that was that I cannot buy any vehicles. I have to use the vehicles that I find on the maps. I was hearing something, I thought it sounded like a flat tire, but it's uh, concrete blocks moving. So... some kind of message on my stream that something lurks in my stream and hugs I don't know if it's some kind of advertisement or what it's in the uh, chat still getting YouTube requests people that want to be friends yeah I don't think so I mean I don't mind being friends with people but getting the where I did the research and found out that that's some kind of uh, bot or scam I think I'll pass on all of that. I tried to watch a YouTube video a little while ago and it absolutely got so ridiculous. Uh, it's actually on my uh, phone 
and was trying to watch it. I just walked the dog and I sit out on the front porch and and uh, sit out there with him for a few minutes and because he doesn't seem to want to eat unless somebody's sitting there with him. He's old. But I was watching a couple of, going to watch a couple of videos and I watched one and every 40 seconds the video stopped and they had an ad in it. And it was the same ad of uh, Joe Biden talking about you know his presidency. And it got so annoying, I just quit watching the video. It's almost worse than watching television. All the commercials. I got rid of my cable a couple of years ago. I use fire sticks now. Uh, because it got so ridiculous. I actually taped one movie. And, or I didn't tape, I mean I watched a movie and I kept track of the amount of movie versus the amount of commercials. And the commercials came on, there was uh, seven minutes of movie and 11 minutes of commercial. That's absolutely ridiculous. But I guess that's how they can stretch a hour and a half movie into a three hour time slot. And I know people have to make money. But it's ridiculous to have so many commercials. Did I go the right way? Yep. I am about out of gas. Actually thought the gas would stretch a little further than this. up here somewhere is a place where I can get gas. But I don't know if I'm going to make it. That might be my gas station right there. Yes, it is. Ten gallons of spare.
That was a lot of damage there. So maybe it's just the map, the hard roads on the map, you're just going to take a lot of damage. Ooh, what's that? Oh, okay. That's a mission. I was hoping for an upgrade. Ooh, I think it should have went more to the right. Yep, I drove off the road. See if I can get this thing backed up. Come on, you can do it. Maybe can't. Maybe that's why there's trees there. And I don't know what's up, but half the time when I attach a winch, it automatically starts winching, whether I want it to or not. The other half the time it doesn't. Maybe I'm holding my tongue wrong. need to find a little bit of traction and I can't see the wheels so I'm going to advance it so I can see what the wheels are doing that tree is not very strong stronger than I think. I actually hope I don't have too many deliveries over here. I may have to find another. See, it just took off. The winch took off and I didn't hit anything. Did it again.
There it goes again. If you hit the Y button, as soon as it starts doing it, then it will stop. So let's see this task. One of the farm's truck... <coughs> oh, shoot me. One of the farm's trucks got stuck in the swamp while making a delivery. Can you pull it out and take it to the farm? Eh, maybe not with this truck, but... This one doesn't seem to be doing very well through here. Thinking now I should have took the other path. Luckily, there are trees spaced just where I need them. I might be able to pull that truck forward. I can do that there's better ground to get a grip on. I'll give it a try since I'm over here. Forty-eight hundred dollars and five hundred ten experience. So I can deal with that. Uh, let me look here. So the alien sensation sent me a message. Uh, is rating my party with three. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And yes, we aliens do have to stick together. Alright, so let's see what's next on our agenda. So I think I'm going to go over and try to get that truck out. So it's not too far and I'm just delivering it here. So we'll see if this thing can pull it out. One of the things I have been thinking, I was kind of wanting to get uh, get money, and I'm only lacking three American trucks of getting the getting the little uh, task completed of owning all American trucks. And I think what I might do instead is sell a couple of them so I can get some Russian trucks. Because this seems to be doing pretty good. But I am sure there are better Russian trucks out there that I can buy. And it's going to take me a while to get the money for that. 
and then what I can do toward the end of the game. I can like sell all the Russian trucks I have and then buy American trucks and vice versa so that I can get uh, both of those tasks completed. So let's see if I can pull this through there. I don't think I can. I think I might have to get it, back it up and do it, but I'm going to give it a shot. And of course it's damaged. Now if I can pull it up this... Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's see how much... Well, I can't... Don't want to refuel it because if the gas tank is damaged, then I'm just wasting fuel. Let's see if I can pull that front end around and stay on the uh, road here. That's not going to help me. Get it started up this bank. And then I can pull it around. So I might need the help of this tree. Come on, don't get stuck on me now. There we go. Stop right there. Come on, pivot around. I got you now. Cooking a big fish with spider wire and a real good hook. Fight all you want to, but I got you now. Up in here low. 
So both of the trucks that I've found so far have turned out better than expected. And these are the free ones. So I definitely want to try one I've got to pay for. But I have to research them a little bit, see which one I have the most upgrades for. And which one seems like it would be the best one. At least get one more. Serpentine. But I want to find a suspension upgrade for this thing. Put the bigger tires on it. Okay, so this was... Farm Swim. So I've got to take it to parking also. I can do that. I almost took a course in Russian uh, when I was in the Army. They were looking for volunteers to learn Russian. And it just so happened to conflict. I signed up for it. But then something else happened and it conflicted with it and I wasn't able to do it. But I had a, an individual when I was in the Army that uh, actually spoke fluent Russian. Uh, his parents, or his grandparents were from Russia. And that's one of the things that they did was teach the grandkids how to speak Russian. And this was many, many, many years ago. So he taught me a little bit of Russian and even taught me some of the uh, letters and stuff. But it's been so long ago, I can't remember any of it. It's like when I was stationed in Italy, I could speak fairly fluent Italian. But that was 30 years ago. Could also speak a little bit of German. German, though, was just enough to, if we went to Germany, uh, it was just enough to get by. I could ask where a gas station was or, you know, a hotel or stuff like that. But if you don't use it, you lose it. I do have what's it called Rosetta Stone for Italian and now I'm bogged down again. Uh, I've been meaning to do that and life has a way of not allowing you to do some of the things you want to do sometimes. Come on, you can do it. I told you, I got you now. You can fight all you want to. I did see a small fuel tanker back there, so I'm not worried about fuel. There we go. Another $1,200. All 
All right, so I think I'm going to call it an evening because I have some other things I need to do. I've got to get some videos out on YouTube. And I... What else? I need to... Oh, I've got to change a spark plug in my wife's Jeep. Keeps burning one spark plug. Sometimes it'll last two weeks. Sometimes the spark plug will last six months. But eventually number five cylinder, I have to replace the spark plug in it because it starts running like crap. So I'm going to go take care of that. And if you like the video, leave a like. And also, whether you liked it or not, leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing, what I can do to be a little better at this. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, have a good one.